Let's find the equation of a hyperbola, a shifted hyperbola from its graph. Uh, this should be pretty quick. It, it's, it's tended to be a straightforward example. Um, here's the hyperbola, and hyperbolas are a little tricky because uh, they don't have as many points, simple points on them. They have the vertices. Um, and I chose to do something that's like the book, a book problem you're going to do, which is also indicate the asymptotes explicitly. We could have maybe indicated a point or something, but the indicating the asymptotes is a pretty simple way to uh, phrase the problem. So the first goal is find the center, because that's all about the shifting. If you can identify the center, then you know at least how the shifting is working. Well, the center, if you get the asymptotes, that's actually quite easy. Um, it's just where the asymptotes cross. If the asymptotes weren't given here, you could still find it, because it's halfway between the vertices. The vertices are at 0, 2, and minus 8, 2. So the center is going to be at minus 4, 2. And of course, with the asymptotes there, it's quite easy to find that. OK, so the center is going to be at minus 4, 2. OK, and that's going to tell us the shifting. Now, we note that it's a left-right opening hyperbola. And so already, we can write down a lot of the standard form here. It's going to be x plus 4 squared over a squared. That's still to be determined, minus y minus 2 squared over b squared equals 1. We just need to find a and b. The plus 4, remember, is that that shifts left. And the minus 2 is because that shifts up, so that the center, which would have been at the origin for the normal, the sort of standard form, uh, has been shifted to minus 4, 2. Now, a, remember that's always the one that goes with whichever one is plus. So here's x is plus. Um, and the reason that's going, that the reason x is plus is it's left right opening. And that's why this is plus and the y is minus. And then a is always the distance from the center to the vertex. That's going to be 4. And then the rest of it, we just need to find the box, basically. Well, the box is you go over to the vertex and then up to the asymptote. And the b is just how high that box is above the center line, above the, the transverse axis. And that's going to be 2 units up. And so our b is 2. And there's our equation. If somebody said, now, I insist that you write it without fractions, for example, um, which most people wouldn't do. But suppose that we wanted to clear the fractions. Well, that's just a 16. That's a 4. And I can just multiply everything by 16 if I wanted to. So x plus 4 squared minus 4 y minus 2 squared equals 16. And that's a little prettier, but uh, most people who know about hyperbolas would say, well, actually, I prefer this because I can read off the A and the B easier from the standard form. Okay.